number uh, 307 page number 307 association association condition <coughs> the association condition some yoga to understand this one, we have a four characteristics. We already learned this one. Um, the phenomena must arise together, number one. Number two, they must cease together. And number three, they must have the same object. They must take the same object. And also, they must have the same base. So they have to base in the same place. So this is a four characteristics of the association condition. Actually, I don't need to explain a lot. So we have learned in the uh, mental factors. So four characteristics of mental factor, right? So mind, sorry. Uh, consciousness and middle factor they arise together and they cease together and they take the same object and they have the same base so actually if we talk about association condition there's only Cheta and Cheta Siga so actually uh, the Rupa the Rupa including Nibbana so they don't have uh, these four characteristics. So for that reason, so in this condition, only consciousness, I mean the fact I have these characteristics. So we have to take only consciousness and mental factors. <coughs> this one is very easy, very easy one. So we have learned four characteristics four characteristics of mental factor. Cheta and Chedasika, they rise together, cease together, they take the same object and take the same base. So some Rupa, they arise together with the Cheta and Chedasika and even they cease together. But Rupa cannot take the object. Only consciousness and mental factor, they can take the object. So actually, only my mind can take the form object. Only my mind and my chedesika, no. my chede and chedesika can take the sound as an object. My rupa, this kaya, do not know, no, do not know. So it doesn't take, uh, the rupa does not take any object. So for that reason, and also, uh, it has a, not the same base, you know, not the same base. For that reason, only Cheta and Chetasika will be taken. So in this, uh, the association condition. So this is compared to a kind of sweet. Now the example from the commentary. So it is a compare to a kind of sweet called Chattu Matura in Bali. It is a mixture of four things ghee, oil, molasses, molasses and honey. 
So if you make all these together, they thoroughly blended amid uh, intermingle each other. So they are so integrated that the taste of each item cannot be identical. You will not know which is uh, uh, which is which. So actually, uh, we call it Chaduk Madura. So it is uh, this is a mixture of four things. So as a monastics, as a monks and nuns, we can take this one even afternoon. So the Buddha allowed this one. So when you eat this one, so if they are mixed thoroughly, actually we have to uh, we have to put it under the hot sun so that it thoroughly mixes. And also it became wine, you know, it became wine. So those four items intermingle each other. So when you cook with the hot sand, you will not know, you will not identify each of the items. So they became one. They became one. So just like that, Cheta and Chedasika. So they arise together, cease together, take the same object, and they have the same base. So you were not able to identify which one is Cheta and Chedasika. But what we know is only we are learning, no? What, um, uh, so this is the association condition, association condition. Actually in uh, second chapter, we talk about association, right? Association. So uh, when we talk about uh, Lava Mula Cheda, so the first Lava Mula Cheda, how many Chedesika can associate with? So we talk about association. No? So you can look at page number 305. <coughs> Para number uh, 30. Goodness in consciousness amid the factors are a condition for one another. By way of association. By way of association. So actually, Cheta and Chetasika are a condition for one another. If the Cheta is conditioned, uh, how do we say the cause? The chedesika will be the effect. If the chedesika is the effect, and uh, if one chedesika is the, 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 the effect, and cheta and the rest of the chedesika will be the effect. So like this, they are intermingling each other. So they are so integrated that we will not know which one is which. By way of association, Sampiyoda. Only Chaita and Chaitasika will be, uh, how do you say, will be a condition by way of association. Which number? 309, 309, 90. Condition is association, Sampiyoda. So condition is this, both at the time of rebirth, patisandhi, and during the course of existence, poverty. So that means any time, you know, any time. 89 chedas and 52 chedasikas. So they will be the cause. And also in the effect, condition state, all the 89 chedas and 52 chedasika will be the effect. So they are mutual, not only mutually, you know, not, not only mutually, but also it has a, uh, how do you say it, um, uh, not only mutually, it also has, uh, how do you say it, uh, four characteristics, four characteristics. In mutuality, sometimes, in mutuality, in yamina, uh, send uh, the mind and the matter 
can be a condition for uh, by mutual way by mutual way but here association condition only uh, cheta and cheta sika that has uh, four characteristics will be uh, taken here <coughs> Okay. Okay. That's it. And you said association that is that it's difficult to differentiate uh, based on the seed, the, the the taste of each like molasses or you can use both. Yeah. Yeah, you're right, you're right. So actually, uh, this association condition want to show, want to show, suppose, uh, uh, contact. Now, contact is very, I would say, general. So let's do another one. Maybe uh, initial think, uh, thought, or maybe our thought, we take up. We take up, take bring our mind to the object. This is its, its, its characteristics. Um, when we take a brain, uh, our data to the object, and any, you know, any data can be associated. Uh, depend on condition, suppose if we are uh, if, if, if the Wittaka is bringing our mind to the unwholesome and pleasant side, maybe unwholesome, you know, unwholesome chaita. But in this case, uh, actually, association condition me, then Wittaka take, support Wittaka take uh, something, uh, the sounds, the sounds, is its object. Wittaka take the sounds, is a is object then as soon as we take a rise and other chaitas that are associated with we also will rise together and also other chaitasika other chaitasika that are associated with the chaita also will arise so here association me they arise together they rise together and they, they take the same object and this is together they have the same base but of course uh, your question is good um, here intermingling me uh, they are not doing they are not doing different things you know so even though they have their own characteristics so they are uh, how do say doing only one job, only one job. They listen to the song, listen to the song. So actually here, I mean, it may not me, so it is just a sample, you know, just a sample. Um, uh, you know, the four things, four things intermingle each other. Just a sample. But just, just like that, um, in this case, we take our brain, our mind to the song. And the other Cheta and Chetasika also follow Vitaka. So actually their object is the song. So they are doing only one thing, listening to the song, you know, listening to the song. So in this way, in this way, so the Cheta and Chetasika associating each other. Just like a, uh, there's no confrontation among them. Among them. So I think, uh, uh, actually, we 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 get commentary just give the example of uh, mixture of four things, you know, key, honey, etc. But here, uh, the mixture of cheddar, cheddar, sika here me. Of course, they have their own characteristics. Wittaka has its own characteristics. Cheddar has its own characteristics. But they are doing the same thing. Sorry, they have only one goal, you know, to listen to the song. So in that, in, in such a way, 
So they are united, they are associated closely, and they are doing only one, one thing. It doesn't mean that we, we cannot uh, differentiate, you know, differentiate. But of course, if we are not mindful, we will not know it. <laughs> if we take it as it went, huh? if we are mindful, we, we, we will know it. Uh, you just know their characteristics. Here, uh, suppose perception. So when you are meditating, uh, when you have deep concentration, you will know the nature of perceiving. So you are, your mind perceives an, an object. And also, suppose, uh, um, then after that, Sankara, other other, uh, how to say, Chedesika, just like a uh, compassion. So you, you, you will know the nature of compassion at that particular point, whether it is wholesome or unwholesome. So you will know it, you will know it, yeah. Okay. So uh, when we learn these 24 conditions under Bhagavan, Chita and Chedesika are an association condition, meaning that there is four characteristics which means that the rice today exists together, so they interlinger. This is from the when we are studying from the theory point of view. But when we actually practice, uh, I would imagine that um, a meditator is a very stable one. He will be able to see the nature of both the Vajatasika, the perception of the set, but he will also be able to differentiate It will be very difficult, you know? it will be very difficult. Because the uh, uh, Abhidharma teachers, they always say that only the Buddha will see all. So for normal people, uh, even the Vinirvasari Buddha, you know, Vinirvasari Buddha will not know everything, but only the Buddha, Abhidharma teachers, or um, we can read the senior teacher at the time, uh, ancient time, but of course, what we can see is only obvious mental states, no? obvious mental states. But in some occasion, we might ha we might know, you know, some of the function of mental state. Uh, just look, uh, take a bit uh, Bhikkhuni Kema, you know. What I believe is, at that particular moment, she can, she she knows how uh, vital vitality, Jivita. Vitality is walking at that moment. Because uh, if somebody is going to die, Jivita, we both mental and physical Jivita, or vitality we call it, where we be very obvious, no? Not, not very obvious. If we are mindful, no? It will be obvious to us. But the other time, we may not know the nature of vitality. So what we know is through Abhidharma. Um, I ask this question also because I'm trying to link it back to the Chachaka Sutta, yeah. six sets of it. Mm -hmm. This is a very important sutta which we taught. Yeah, top process. process on Thursday. So under, if I remember correctly, under the Chachaka Sutta, there are six sets of phenomena that we should watch out for. Mm -hmm.
I think if we look at the uh, Chachaka Soda, the eye, the form, these are the Rupa. Because of these two, I am consciousness. You know, the consciousness is very set a point, you know? Yes. Only if we are mindful, you will know it, there is a consciousness. Yes. The medium, the medium of three is called contact. Yes. So there is the obvious contact. Yes. But if we are mindful, we can, we can know contact, but very difficult, you know? Yes. Contact, very, very difficult to know. And because of contact, we have a feeling. Even feeling, feeling is not, not an uh, emotional aspect, sensation, you know. Yeah. Even at that level, if we are not mindful, we do not know, you know, if we are not mindful. What we know is a craving, like and dislike. Yeah. You like it, you don't like it, you know. So what I want to say is, before, if we are mindful, we'll be able to know the nature of sensation, pleasant or unpleasant, at that level. But to know about contact, it needs a lot of, you will know it, it needs a lot of concentration, a lot of mindfulness, a lot of mindfulness. So, um, what the Buddha uh, keep up in the Chachaka so they're very simple. So actually, Abhidhamma trying to elaborate only this six, six sex, yeah? six that was sixty. So um, actually, today we will we will talk about um, heart. Yeah. Actually, uh, we we already talk about heart. You know, heart base, heart base. So normally, only if our heart is beating, you know, we notice. Other time we we do not notice. But meditate and know it very well because, because of mindfulness and concentration. So actually, a uh, heartbeat maybe is quite obvious to us. But to know about our mental state much more deeper, you know, much more deeper. Regarding with the contact, just like it, especially seven universes. Seven universes among them Contact, difficult to know. Feeling, easy to know. We, 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 we know it, we can know it. Uh, volition is also, we can know it. And one pointedness, of course, we can. Vitality, very difficult, you know. And also attention, difficult, stay difficult. So, um, but when we go to uh, miscellaneous, six miscellaneous, getting obvious. And when we go to uh, uh, 40 and wholesome mental states, obvious. <laughs> Even normal time, we were no such one. No? But of course, we must, we must be very mindful and concentrated. Sometimes we may have a uh, negative mental state in our mind. Even if we are angry, we may not notice, you know? We not notice because we don't have mindfulness. If we do not have, uh, if we do not notice, the anger will arise continuously, you know? So that, for that reason, meditation will help us uh, to maintain, you know? To stop all these unwholesome in the state. <coughs> okay. So this one, um, um, so Cheta and Chetasika, so they associate each other. So Cheta and Chetasika, the cause, because of that, uh, Cheta and Chetasika, uh, the effect. They associate, they associate each other. Association condition is included into group one. Because in six way the mind is conditioned for the mind. Okay, is a group one. So this one uh, not difficult. The next one is a dissociation condition. Dissociation condition is the opposite of association. The dissociation condition 
We pay you to have two meanings. I think it's very important to take note two meanings. We pay you has two meanings, two definitions. Number one, Number one, absence. Ab absence. Of power. So that is it, for example, dissociated from wrong view. And the uh, eight lower mula cheda, we, we talk about dissociated from wrong view. Sometimes you do unwholesome things, but you, uh, you, you don't have a wrong view. That means you have a right view. You know it. It is an old sign, but you stay to it. But here, in this case, they take it up with the yoda. Dissociated from wrong view. So in that case, no wrong view. Absence of wrong view. Absence of wrong view. But number two, not mingling. Not mingling, not blending with the yoda. For example, water an oil which remain separate though placed together even you mix with the water and cook it oil then they, they do not intermingle because they have a different uh, element no they are different element different element so too many too many will be your will be your eyes important to know So here, only second definition will be taken. Only second definition will be taken. Because uh, um, I think when you learn, when you learn, you will know it, you will know it. Here is the example. So this is compared to a mixture of six takes. Sweet uh, six takes in a curry. When you cook curry, you put all the six takes together. Sweet, sour, spicy, acrid, salty, bitter. These are the takes, six takes. I think mean now even more than that. Eh? <laughs> even though the curry is cooked, blending all these six takes, so each taste can be identified. San, san food, san curry, very spicy, you know it. Some are very bitter, you know it. So they do not intermingle, you know. Hmm? Some are very salty, you know, very salty, you know it. So even though you miss, you know, you're trying to uh, blend, you know, all these way. You still can identify you know, some are spicy, some are salty. Actually, just example, you know, just example. Just like that, even though there are different phenomena, they rise together. Even though they rise together, even though they cease together, so they can be identified because they have a different characteristics. I think later you will know it. My and matter, nama rupa. But here, what I, uh, when I say the my me, cheta chetasika together. My and matter can arise together and also can cease together. Yet, they are not integrated or blended one another like a cheta and cheta seeker. So actually earlier, earlier condition, association condition, we learned that cheta and cheta seeker, they mix together because they have four characteristics. Four characteristics. So they are, uh, they are taking one job at a time, you know, one mission at a time. But here, mind and matter are not like this. The mind can take the object, 
but the rupa, the matter cannot take. They are not, even though they arise together, even though they arise together, they are not walking, you know, the same object. So that means they don't have four characteristics, arising and ceasing together, having the same object and the same base. So therefore, mind and matter have the nature of dissociation condition. The nature of dissociation condition. But here, you remember two definitions. One is the absent. absent. Another one is uh, not mingling or not blending. Not blending. So even though they arise together, mind and matter will arise together, they are not blending, missing each other. Mind have its own characteristics and also the matter also have the same uh, different characteristics. Therefore, so when we compare association and dissociation, then you will understand this one. Right? Association condition, they have the nature of coexistence. They exist together and also they intermingle, you know, they, they intermingle one another. That's the nature of association. But Regarding with the dissociation, they have the nature of coexistence. They rise together, they cease together, they may cease together, but they are not intermingling. They are not blending, you know, because they have a different function, different characteristics. For that reason, it's called dis dissociation. So when you when you see the word vipayoda, dissociation, two definitions, don't forget that. Don't forget that. Titikata sambayoda, dissociated from wrong view in that context, absence of wrong view. But here in this context, not absence. But here, uh, not intermingling or not blending each other. Okay, then uh, dissociation condition, look at page number 321, 321. I think that the pages are very kind of messy. I think if you, 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 can, uh, you can write a page number, you know, at the 24 conditions, maybe here too. Uh, the root condition on which page and the object condition on which page. So in this way, it's easier for you to find out. Page number 321. The dissociation condition is 3-4. Three, 3-4. Four. Three, four. Number one, by way of connecting. Sahajara. By way of connecting. Actually, we have learned connecting. I don't know whether you still remember. We have five group, you know, five group. Number one, Cheta and Chetasika. Uh, how do you say they, uh, they they arise together, you know? They arise together. They arise together. And also they associate together. Cheta and Chetasika. Number two. Cheta and Chetasika is a condition for the rising of matter. Rising of matter. Because of Cheta and Chetasika, then co connecting material phenomena arises. But here we are going to talk about mind and matter. So we have to take number two, you know, number two group. Number two group. Then number three, number three, four great essentials, and they, uh, how to say, they arise together. So 
So they are Anusita. Um, so they are independent each other, no? Independent each other. If one great uh, great essential is the cause, the other three will be the effect, like this. Number three. Now we are not talking about uh, matter and matter, right? So forget about that one. Now that number four, four great uh, four great essential is the condition for the rising of uh, derived. Uh, phenomena, ubara-rupa, ubara-rupa. But in this case, the cause is the rupa and the effect is the rupa. This one also forget about it. The last one, so at the moment of uh, conscious, uh, the rebutting in consciousness, at the moment of rebutting in consciousness, and uh, heart base, heart base, is a condition heart base uh, that are connected uh, heart base and some of the Cheta and Cheta Zikas connecting with the heart base they rise together you know they are dependent on each other so if the heart is the cause and Cheta and Cheta Zika will be the effect if the Cheta Cheta Zika is the, uh, the cause how it be the effect so here we are talking about mind and matter well we have, to, we, have, we, have, we, have we also have to take it this way huh? and five group right number one mind and mind number two mind and rupa we have to take number two because we are learning about mind and matter mind and matter The number three, rupa rupa, and also number four, rupa rupa. Forget about it. And number five, uh, how do you say the uh, mind and rupa, rupa and mind. You understand? Okay. So this one is the by way of connecting. Number one, at the moment rupa linking, the heart beat is. The condition for resultant mental aggregates, mental aggregate. So when you look at that one, heart base is the matter, and resultant mental aggregates, this is the mind. Even though they arise together, even though they may cease together, actually they may not sit together because they only a uh, heart beat is rupa, it will last 70 mind movement. <coughs> and Cheta and Cheta Sikas uh, that are connecting with uh, heart beat where how do they will cease. But anyway, at the moment of rupa linking, heart beat and Cheta and Cheta Sika, they rise together. Even though they rise together, they, they don't have a uh, characteristic association. They don't have a characteristic association because they have a different function and different characteristics. And Habe is the matter, and Rezada means the f uh, aggregates of the mind. For that reason, so they were associated by way of dissociation condition dissociation condition even though six takes I know if we cook a curry and we put all the six takes but they even though you we put together you know they how to say uh, uh, they will not be missed all together we, we can identify each taste so here also even though half base as a matter Rosada mean the, uh, mean the aggregate as is the mind even though they arise together they are not blending you know they are not intermingling because the mind and matter but here by way of connections 
they rise together, right? They rise together. So here, connecting dissociation condition. We will use it, uh, connecting dissociation condition. And next one is a consciousness and mental factor are a condition for connecting matter. But uh, during the course of existence, during the course of existence, the consciousness and mental factor will be a condition for connecting matter. Sometimes, if our mind, uh, if our mind is a good mood, then our body also will show a good mood. If our mind is not in good mood, then our body will show. So that means consciousness and mental factor are a condition for connecting matter. So here, connecting matter is the matter. Consciousness and mental factor is the mind. So even though they rise together, they have a different characteristics. So they were, they were function as a dissociation condition. Understand? Okay, no? Actually, we already learned in connection, under connection, under connection. Uh, and the association condition, so a uh, phenomena that has four characteristics, no? But here, dissociation condition, they rise together, they rise together, but they have a different characteristics. The mind has a different characteristics and the matter has a different characteristics. For that reason, uh, so they were, uh, how to say, the, by way of dissociation condition. Okay? Okay, question. I think you put one microphone here. <laughs> huh? It's a size. Huh? <laughs> okay. My question is uh, uh, in six forms, it is a must for Isapana meditation because you must know the cause and effect, eradicating all the requirements. Then you can understand what is impermanent, you can understand what is for the virtue, and ultimately, if you reach the final destination, You're right, you're right. Because the, uh, the aim of meditation is to know Nama Rupa, mind and matter, separately, not together. Normally we see our body and our mind as I, you know? We cannot separate mind and matter. So if you can see Nama Rupa separately, then you will know non self or the nature of impermanent. You're right. That is the purpose of meditation. And also, the purpose of Abhidhamma is the same thing, same thing. So Abhidhamma is, Abhidhamma is giving, uh, giving a name by commentators. Nama Rupa Prachira Gata. Uh, the teachings of analysis of Maya Matter. Nama Rupa. So now actually we are learning Patana. We're trying to analyze only two, you know, my and matter. <laughs> but it's very difficult <laughs> because we analyzing, you know, in how to say in detail. Okay, question. Question. Oh yeah. Because meditation has many forms, many methods. Isapana is a very inside meditation. Vipassana. Yes, okay. Vipassana. And uh, we need to know all the six forms in order to eradicate all our defilements and we will know whether wholesome, unwholesome, uh, what is the cause and what is the effect. So slowly we will move on and we know, very clearly we know that um, we are doing all the wrong things or doing the right thing or anything that comes to your mind. Mindfulness, all these are very concentrated mindfulness. So uh, if you clear step by 
Sorry. Different level of knowing cause and effect. The first one is the karma, right? We, we, uh, without meditating, sometimes we pass an idea, one can know the cause and effect. If you do good, a good reset. If you, if you do bad, bad reset. This cause and effect without practicing meditation. You know? But in second level, uh, how to say that? Knowing the Four Noble Truth or knowing a nature, Toka, Anatta. Actually, it needs Vipassana meditation. But if you want to practice Vipassana, you need, uh, how to say, some degree of concentration or Samatha. samatha. For that reason, also we should also practice Samatha meditation. Then only we're able to know Nama Rupa. Okay. So I have a question for Sister. <laughs> she said just now that we need, if I get if I heard you correctly, that we need to know all these six forms. Did she say that? Um, six forms, did I hear? And if I heard correctly, can you elaborate on these six? Actually, uh, six, whether you, you talk about six, Basis or six, uh, six basis or five aggregate or nama rupa, they are the same, you know. Some other time the Buddha may say six basis. Some other time the Buddha may say five aggregate. For those who are very intelligent, the Buddha may say only two are nama and rupa. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so she's actually referring to the same thing, same thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, this is a um, under dissociation condition with three four. Number one, connecting, but we are connecting. So under connecting, we have a two. When the link between heart base and resultant mental aggregate at the moment of linking, at the moment of linking. But another one is the link between Cheta Chedasika and the matter. Because of Cheta and Chedasika, we will have a material phenomena will arise in our body, in our body. So this is the link between mind and matter. So by way of connecting, connecting dissociation, even though they arise together, sajada, they do not intermingle each other. The reason is they, will dip, they are different. The mind and matter. Okay, next one is the. Okay. Okay. So we are very So one day. Yeah. Actually, according to Abhidha and Mom, uh, we have a uh, 90 rebirth ligand consciousness. Right? Yes. So these 90s are resultant. So they arise because of good and bad in previous lives. So they are called resultant. But the good body added uh, with the bracket, mental aggregates. So they are mental aggregates. So, heart base, uh, together with uh, uh, one of the 90 rebirth ligand consciousness, uh, uh, we will have a 30, you know, 30 material decades. phenomena. Yeah, three decades, three decades. So, man, three decades, heart base is one of them. So, heart base and one of the 90 rebirth ligand consciousness, they will rise together. The same thing, they will rise together. Arising together means connaissance. Connaissance. So even though they rise together at the moment of river linking, they are not intermingling, you know, they are not blending. We can identify as the Nama and Rupa. Nama and Rupa. So that is what what what, what we mean. Right. So if I 
push it down further. Yeah. I'm just trying to understand the theory into into the teaching, practical. So the knowledge mm. of practical. So the half day is a condition for one of the nineteen conductors. So assuming No, half day is a loop up. My turn. Yeah, because one day says that um, the half day is a condition for the resultant. So the half day is a condition for one of the 19 resultants. Yeah, uh, you're right, you're right. So if I am a very, if I'm a good person, and I've done good deeds in my mm. past, so when I die, and I get born into a past, you will have only one rebirth living consciousness, not all. Yes, yeah, so one of the 19. So one of the 19, so yeah. Assuming that my rebirth thinking Same, uh, same time. Same time. Yeah, you're right. The half day itself will also trigger, it's a condition, will also trigger another resultant. So another, um, as a little bit, perhaps another um, uh, A grade resultant. Correct? I'm trying to, <coughs> I'm just trying to see the process. Mm. I understand. Yeah. So when I die, <laughs> yeah, my new life, my first chita is rebirth linking. And when my rebirth linking arises, um, the three decades, the heart base, the body uh, base, femininity, yeah, the body uh, base and the sexual phenomena. Sexual phenomena base. Yes. And when my heart base arises, it also trigger, it is a condition for resultant for more um, or it'll be a good person who trigger another of the Yes. Right. Because in the uh, the mind process uh, after rebelling in consciousness and there will be followed by a lot of bawanga. So these bawanga will be one of the eight great resultant. So the same the same the same bawanga, the same bawanga. So those cheda were based in the heart base. So Those cheda, yeah, were, 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 uh, were, were based, were, were arise based on heart base, you know, heart base. Right. So the resultants were very likely were referring to the Yeah. I think uh, even uh, yesterday I saw a move, uh, video. Uh, a daughter is trying to rescue a young baby know beating his you know his uh his body because he i think his heart is not not pounding you know? his heart not walking Maybe because of that he he tried later the heart start to beat 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 maybe if the heart beat is very possible is it maybe just for no i want to say just for knowledge the process of Nama Nipa is very relentless, I think. Including um, this talk that is supposed to be a very relentless move that um, is very, how shall I say, it's relentless in the sense that no person is like it, you know, just keep on coming, coming. No, anytime, every time, every time. Exactly. It will arise. Yeah, and mm. they it is a matter of. Trapping you in the circle, mm. in the cycle of yeah. society. It's totally <laughs> it's Doka suffering. <laughs> okay, so the next one is by way of post nursing. By way of post nursing. The here, post nursing me uh, arise earlier, you know, arise earlier. So the post nursing consciousness and mental factors. I condition for this, for importance in me, arise after, you know, not before. Uh, the post nursing consciousness and mental factor, Chaitanya and Chaitasika. I condition for this pre nursing material body. Actually, we have learned under 
post nursing condition. But here, we are talking about dissociation condition. So here, under post nursing, we already learned that um, Cheda and Cheda Siga, they arise together, they arise together, uh, they arise later. But they support the body or matter that earlier arise, arise earlier than. Uh, let's uh, take the example of um, rebel linking consciousness. Then after rebel linking consciousness, we will have a lot of pawanga. So those pawanga, so sorry, uh, as soon as rebel linking consciousness arise, we have a party, material phenomena also where arise together. So material phenomena, including harpies, so they are longer lifespan, 70 mile moment. They still survive, but rebelling and consciousness die. Then after that, a lot of bawanga will come. So those bawanga will arrive, uh, those bawanga arises after Haribatu, or harpies, after harpies. So even though they arise later time, but they support to the Harya Vatu and other material phenomena by way of Bunasins. So actually, uh, here, uh, Harpes is a Rupa, and Cheta and Chetasika that arise later are mine. So even though they they are, you know, coexisting, coexisting. So actually, they are not intermingling. They are not blending because their one is mind, one is matter. So in that way, so they, they uh, how to say, they have a connection by way of bonessing as well as dissociation. You got it. If you digest previous lesson. For you, easy. <laughs> then number three, by way of pre-nursing condition, pre Here, pre me, it arises earlier. It arises earlier. During the course of existence, during the course of existence, the six pigs, six pigs, eye, ear, nose, turn the body and mind, Sorry, heart. Six pieces are a condition for the rising or seven consciousness elements. Actually, we already learned. I have an base, then I see the form, then I consciousness arise. I consciousness and many other chaita arises. So my I base is a condition for the rising of unconsciousness and other chaita. For that reason, during the course of our life, the six spaces are conditioned for the rising of seven consciousness elements. Actually, we already learned that. But in this case, six spaces are the matter. Seven consciousness elements, they are the mind. Actually, they coexist. They coexist, right? They coexist. But um, they do not intermingle each other. Because my, another my, another one is my, and the other is the matter. Okay, I think not difficult. So in three four dissociation three four, by way of connecting, and by way of connecting second, uh, by way of post nursing, and third by way of pre nursing. Don't forget that under this dissociation condition. And if the core is the mind, and the upper will be the matter. If the matter is the cause, then the mind will be the effect. Because they do not intermingle, they do not associate. Then, let's continue, page number 311. Please look at page number 311, very complicated. This one is very complicated. Actually, we already learned all this one. I think we should skip. 
Otherwise, we cannot finish. And then trying to finish today. So let's talk about connaissance dissociation. Connaissance dissociation. Look at page number 311. Connaissance dissociation. The cause will be here in detail, in detail. You know, earlier we just talked about in, in brief. And the five aggregate planes, five aggregate planes, uh, apart from four immaterial realms and non percipient realms. So the rest are called five aggregate planes. So at the time of rebirth and also during the course of existence, any time, any, any time. 75 chaitas and 52 chaitasikas, they are the cause. They are the cause. Why 75? So we have to exclude four immaterial sphere resident chaitas because we are talking about five aggregate planes. So those four immaterial sphere resultants will not produce any matter. And also we have a ten things consciousness. Uh, two set of five consciousness. So according to chapter six, according to chapter six, so these ten will not produce any material phenomena. We already learned this one. Another one is Arahant's death consciousness. Arahant's death consciousness will not produce any material phenomena. For that reason, we have to exclude them. So together, 75 chaitas and 52 chaitasika. So they will be the cause for the rising of connecting material phenomena. So here, the effect is the matter. The cause are the cheta and chedesikas. So by way of connaissance dissociation, they rise together, connaissance. Even though they rise together, they are not intermingling, they are not blending each other. Dissociate, uh, dissociation condition. Two conditions, you know? We are combining two conditions. Even though those Cheta and Chedesika and Rupa arise together, they are not intermingling. Dissociation condition. Then, next one. Uh, connecting condition. Connecting condition B, you know. Earlier we talked about A. B. B is same as 6C. Six. C. six. six C. 6 is pre-nursing dissociation, pre-nursing, pre Look at page number. Uh, <coughs> page number 308, 6. Uh, 6 me, no? Sorry. Oh, sorry. Uh, B is same as 6C, no? What is 6C? 6C is a connection, no? Connection. C is at the time of rebirth in five aggregate planes. At the time of rebirth in five aggregate planes. Oh, sorry. But I didn't write on this one. Just look at page number uh, 6C. Huh? At, the time of, at the time of rebirth, in five aggregate planes, four mental states and half day. Four mental state, so that means four mental state me, uh, resident chaita, one of the 90 resident chaitas, or maybe all 90 resident chaitas. Oh, no, not all. We have to exclude four immaterial resident chaitas. Only 50. 50 
resultant shader. Another one is called form in the aggregate and half base. So, so here we can find both mind and matter at the cause. And also at the effect, both mind and matter are the effect. So as I earlier said that if heart base is the cause and uh, how do you say that? Uh, cheta and cheta sigma will be the effect. If the cheta and cheta sigma is the effect, then heart base will be the effect. So in, th in this, we have to understand in such a way. So even though they arise together at the moment of ribbon linking, they are not blending each other. They rise together, they are not blending. So in such a way, uh, connecting, connecting, dissociation. They rise together, connecting. They are not blending or intermingling, dissociation condition to quality. Okay? If you do not understand, go back. <laughs> because I'm going to finish today. <laughs> it's okay to finish. Maybe of course if even we cannot finish, it's okay. We can continue to uh, next week. So question. It's easy, I think. Uh, the, the first one here, connecting dissociation two part. The first one and theta and theta sigma will be the cause, you know, for the arising of connecting matter, connecting matter. But uh, here, uh, when we talk about theta and theta sigma, but we have to analyze in detail. Not all the theta and theta sigma will produce the matter. As you all know that uh, four immaterial resultant theta will not produce any matter because four immaterial resultant data arises only in the immaterial realm. So in the mat immaterial realm, there's no rupa, no matter. For that reason, we have to exclude four immaterial sphere resultant. The next one, we have to exclude 10 things consciousness because they do not produce any matter according to sixth chapter and also we have to exclude uh, uh, the death consciousness of Abraham because if Abraham died no any material phenomena so that is the first one uh, Cheta and Cheta Sika 75 Cheta and 52 Cheta Sika are the cause for the arising of material phenomena. Even though they arise together, connections, they are not intermingling, blending. That is dissociation condition. Next one is a uh, how do you say the heart base, heart base and rebut linking consciousness. But here we will not use rebut linking consciousness. Sometimes we use resultant consciousness. The same thing. They are resident chaitans, 90 resident chaitans. But here only 50. But here, some, uh, here we use the word four mental aggregate. Four mental aggregate means the same thing is 50 resident uh, rebelling in consciousness. Okay? Different times, we have to know it. So actually, both are uh, half phase and those are uh, river linking resident chaitas are the cause for the rising of half phase and river linking consciousness. So they arise together, mutually depend, mutually depend. Even though they arise together, so they are not intermingling because one is mind, one is matter. By way of connecting dissociation. Next one is by way of pinnacing. Pinnacing dissociation. Pinnacing me uh, arise after. Arise after. 
it is the same as number 8, 2A, and number 8, 2B. Haha, <laughs> no need to study, you know? <laughs> Just go back. <laughs> <coughs> anyway, we're trying to revise again. Look at page, uh, look at, uh, how do you say the uh, uh, number 8, 2A, and number 8, 2B. Penacin dissociation, penacin dissociation. It can be divided into two. Number one, base, penacin dissociation. Base, you know, here we have a six base, six base. Penacin dissociation. But here, condition, uh, condition is a base penacin dissociation. The cause are six bases. So during the, during the lifetime, during the course of existence, so it is six base I. So we got six bases at the cause for the arising of Cheta and Chetasika. So here, six bases at the cause. Because of six bases, Cheta and Chetasika will arise. But even though, you know, six pigs are the matter, in the immaterial realm, there's no any base, any base. So for that reason, we have to exclude four immaterial sphere resultants. Four immaterial sphere resultants. But here, we are not excluding ten, we are not excluding ten sense consciousness. So the reason is, if we have a six base, I consciousness will arise, ear consciousness will arise. We are not excluded, no need, no need. And also, uh, our hand death consciousness, we don't need to exclude, because, so because our hand consciousness will arise based on habit, no? Based on habit. So only we have to exclude four immaterial sphere resultants because in the immaterial realm there's no any basis, any base. For that reason, those four sphere resultant chaita will not arise. So that means those four chaitas arise as any uh, any base, base on any base. They are very powerful, very powerful. But here. The cause, the cause are six base, six bases. Because of six bases, and we will have Cheta and Chetasika. So here, if we analyze in detail, concisely, we have only 89, uh, 85 Chetas. And 52 Chetasika that are associated with them, that are associated with them. So, so they, um, how do you say that? <coughs> so here, six bases are the matter. Uh, Cheta and Chetasika are the mind. They arise together. They no, no, not they arise together. They coexist. You know, they coexist. They, they, they do not arise together because six bases already have it. Already exist. Because of six bases, Cheta Chetasika arises. For that reason, they are called preconnections. Preconnections, because the Cheta and Chetasika arises later, later. So even though they arise later, sorry, um, they stay coexist. You know, they stay coexist. So the cause is the matter, the effect is the mind. So they coexist, but they do not associate, you know? They, they are not intermingling. This is called uh, base pre-nursing dissociation. The next one, base object pre-nursing dissociation. Here, 
we have an object. Look at the object. It must be the base as well as the object. By way of pronouncing dissociation. So here, condition is base object pronouncing dissociation. So what is the cause? The cause is the half base. The half base taken as an object or the same cheta and cheta seeker. As well as it function as a base. You look at page number 308. 308. 8B, right? 2b a to b so here half base half base is a rupa rupa matter so uh, the cheta and cheta uh will take half base as an object but at the same time those cheta and cheta arises based on that half base so half base functions two things as an object or cheta and cheta seeker as the base or the cheta and cheta seeker so this is it actually we already learned that it refers so sometime our cheta and cheta seeker our mind uh, how does it contemplate half base so when we have a deeper level of concentration we were we will be able to contemplate or focus how our heart is working. By seeing them, it may arise rapture, it, it may arise happiness, it may arise aversion or unhappiness. Some of the meditators, so they, uh, when they have a deeper concentration, and they, they look at half base. Then the mind can stay there for many hours, many hours. Time and space disappear at the time. So for that reason they can stay without any pain. You know? So that means they contemplate half base. So for them, so looking at half base, uh, on their, their mind uh, take the half half base, half base as an object. As an object, they're very happy. They 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 enjoy the bliss of jhana happiness. Jhana happiness. For some people, for some people, so when they are taking the half base as an object, their heart beat is beating, you know, ruthlessly very suffering, very suffering for them. For them, displeasure may arise, or vajin may arise. So at that particular moment, Cheta and Chetasika take the heart base as an object. So at the same time, those Cheta and Chetasika are based in heart base, you know, arises based on heart base. So here, heart base, uh, take uh, one of the two two functions. Uh, one is the base, the base of Cheta and Cheta Sika. And those Cheta and Cheta Sika uh, take half base and, uh, as an object. Object and half base. Right? So this one is second time. <laughs> I hope you understand. So this is here. The cause is the half base. Not in normal half base. The heart base, Cheta and Cheta Sika take as an object. But here, so if um, then, you know, the, uh, if we take, uh, if our mind take heart base as an object, as an object, so that is a, uh, how do you say, sensory mind, no? Sensory mind, Kama Vajra. Kama Vajra. For that reason, at that moment, we have um, 29 since we are Jawana Chaitans. Mind or Advani, because our, our Chaitan and Chaitan Sika, the mind, 
is take in habits as an object, the mind or open. Then uh, there will be 29 sense via jawana chaitra. One of the 29, one time, only one jawana. 11 registrations, chaitas. So here, uh, mind or advartin, 29 sense via jawana chaitas, and 11 registration retention. Only in the mind or only in the mind or because Cheta Chedesika take the heart base as an object. That we have a only forty four Chetasikas that are associated with all these Chetas. So the reason is we have to exclude in the average worry because when your mind take your own heart base, there will be no envy. There will be no worry, no avarice, and no worry. And three abstinence. Three abstinence. So, actually, your mind is taking happy as an object. As an object. Happy is in matter. Three abstinence take the object of the other object. The object to abstain from. Different object. And also, two elemental base. So these tools also take the object of concept, concept of being. So different object. For that reason, we have to exclude this one. So mind or advertin, 29 since fear chavana chaitas, 11 registration, 44 chedesikas that are associated with them, and taking their habi as, as an object as an object. Because uh, we have to take only uh, sense via chaitas. The reason is we, we are not uh, we don't need to take uh, <coughs> unconsciousness sorry uh, uh, unconsciousness, ear consciousness etc. Because our mind is taken habit, no? We are not taking, we are not seeing with the eye. For that reason, mind or advertising. Then, uh, Javanach, sorry, um, uh, Rupa and Arupa Chaita. Normally, different object, different object. And Maga and Fala, different object. For that reason, we have to take only, since we are Javana Chaita, Mind or advertising and eleven registrations. You know when we learn all these ways, right, very systematic and also very concise, very concise. For that reason, it's difficult, difficult. If you don't understand, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> don't 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 feel <laughs> anything yeah? because it's very difficult. It says you know. Okay, so this is a penessence. The next one, <coughs> next one is the post-nessence uh, dissociation. It is the same as 11, the same as 11. You can look at 11, post-nessence, post page number 310. Condition is post-nessence dissociation. The cause is in five aggregate planes. In five aggregate planes, later 85 chaitas, starting from the first jhavana, excluding four immaterial resultants and 52 chedesikas. They are the cause. They are the cause. I will, I will explain it later. What is the effect? In five aggregate planes, material body or material phenomena arising along with preceding chaita or chedesika from rebound linking onward. 
at, at face of presence, Titikala. So we have a three set mind moment, arising, present, and passing away. But here, the cause. And then uh, we look at the uh, river linking mind process. So as soon as uh, we, we have a river in new life, river linking consciousness. Then together with this, thirty material phenomena arises. Then, uh, river linking consciousness is the mind. For that reason, it disappears after three set mind moments. Three set mind moment. Arising, present, and passing away. Then after that, a lot of Bawanga awaken. No? A lot of Bawanga awaken. But uh, the other material phenomena stay survive, you know? Stay survive. Because they are longer, you know, 17 mind moment longer than mind moment. Look at the cause. In five aggregate planes, not in material, you know? Later, 85 chaitas, so that means chaitas that arise later. Starting from the first Bawanga. But here, the first Bawanga here, me, after rebuttling in consciousness, we have the first Bawanga, right? The first Bawanga. Starting from that, the first Bawanga. So, uh, rebuttling in consciousness arises in this life, it disappears, but the other material phenomena arises together with rebuttling in Chita stay. You know, stay survive. Then after rebutting in consciousness disappear, then a lot of bonga work can. But here, Chaita Chirisiga here means starting from the first bawanga. So when we talk about the first bawanga, the moment the first bawanga arises, there are some material phenomena arises together with river linking, stay survive. So this, the first Bawanga, were function as a condition, as a condition to support material phenomena. So those material phenomena arises earlier than those Bawanga. For that reason, we call it post nascent So these Cheta Chedesika arises later. Material phenomena arises earlier. But even though they arise later, those material phenomena arise earlier, stay thriving, you know, living. Stay living. But they, they have a coexistence, you know? They coexist. So those Chaita Chirisiga will support the material phenomena arise earlier. We call it here material body arising along with preceding chaita. Here, preceding chaita starting from river linking. Because material phenomena arises, a uh, river linking is net for the uh, together, together, starting from that moment. Here, at face of present. So actually, I already explained that uh, the mind is powerful at the moment of arising. It is weaker at the moment of present and dissolution. But regarding with the material phenomena, they are powerful at the moment of present. They are not powerful at the moment of arising and dissolution. For that reason, so the Chaita and Chaitasika were functioning as a condition uh, to support material phenomena that arises earlier, you know, starting from rebirth linking consciousness. So this is called post nascent post nascent So the Cheta and Chedesikas that arises after, you know, and they support the material phenomena that arise earlier. 
by way of false medicines. False medicines. So they are uh, uh, the cause is cheta and cheta sika the mind, and the effect is the matter. Mind and matter. They are not missing, you know. Even though they coexist, they are not missing each other. For for that reason, we call it dissociation condition. They were support by way of dissociation condition. Okay? Post nascent dissociation condition. So dissociation condition we pay patcha is included into group six. The last one, group six. Mind and matter is a condition for arising of mind and matter. But in the cause, in the, the cause, my matter, and the effect, my matter. Any question? Okay, no question. Let's go. Twenty-one. Presence condition. Presence condition. The opposite of absence. The present condition atipachayo. So this condition helps the effect to arise and thrive. Why it is stay present? Why it is stay present? The present conditions of FIFO. So that means um, present condition. Suppose um, president. The president of Singapore is it why she is in the office and she do a good things for the country. Why she is present. So this is present condition. You know? She do uh better more the country, better more the country. Suppose sometime people may not be good all the time. So maybe the president later change, you know, a lot of corruption. People do not like, suppose, no, suppose. <laughs> then she, he or she resign, president resign, no? Then new president came in, new president very good, very good. Then the old president, uh, how to say, uh, how to say, support, you know, for the country by way of absent, by way of absent, by not having in the office, she, uh, how to say, support for the country, you know. Especially the American president, uh, they took only eight years, you know, in the office. So when they're in, in the office, present condition, they're trying for their best, for their best for the country. And sometimes, uh, the how to say the absence of how to say the the absence of a particular passing will be good for the country, you know. Just like a uh, tar tyranny, you know, junta uh, military military junta, you know, military junta. Then they start down. The new government came in, so the military government is not very very bad. Hmm? So by not staying in the office, that is absent condition, and they support for the country. Country getting better, you know, getting really better. So sometimes some people are very good. Some governments are very good, and they came into the office. So by staying in the office, they try their best for the country. So they support a better more of the country by way of presence condition. Present condition. Here also, so some of the causes have the effect by way of presence. When they are present, when they are still exist, they support the effect. So here, so the present conditions are fivefold. Number one, connections, sahajara. So the cause, 
the causes serve as a support for the effect while they are still present by way of cognizant presence. So here, suppose we take one of uh, one of the cognizants, uh, Cheta and Chedasika, they rise together, right? They rise together. If the Cheta is the cause, Chedasika will be the effect. If the Chedasika is the, the cause, then Cheta will be the effect. So when they are present, when they still exist, then they support each other. By way of present condition. When they are in presence, they support each other. That is present condition. Next one is the uh, prenascence, prenascent condition. Uh, we'll explain it later. Post nursing condition, and uh, eatable food condition, and material life condition. So they are fivefold present condition. When while they are present, they support for the effect. Then you, you look at the number four, eatable food. Then you eat the food. The food is the cause for the rising of the material phenomena uh, uh, how do they born of food or a hard nutriment, born of nutriment. Then after eating a good food, so while that good food stay in your body, present in your body, and that way support your body. And there are there will be uh, many material phenomena, born of nutriment will arise. So the food, while it is present, present in, in the body, then it will support for the rising of other material phenomena. So by way of present condition. I think if, if you look at that one, it's quite clear, no? Quite clear. Later I will explain a little bit more. Then this is compared to if the mock meru. Compared to the mock meru, mock meru, the high mountain in the world, it serves as a support for the living beings and trees and devas etc living nearby why it is still existing if there is no more Mount Meru people cannot stay there no? stay there actually it's just an example just an example why it stay existence in present it was support for the people and living beings Mangala Vihara is the place, you know. Why it is present, it will support for the people who are learning the dam. If Mangala Vihara no more, it disappear, no, cannot do it. Why it is present, it's support for the people, for many people. So that is by way of present condition, by way of present condition. So we have a uh, present condition of five four. Look at page number three one one. Three one one. Number one, connecting present. Sahajara ati. It is same as six. Number six, connecting. In the connecting, we have a three group, right? Three group. But if we analyze in detail, we have a five group, five group. So Cheda and Cheda Seekers, they rise together, they support each other. So when Cheda stay in present, uh, it will support Cheda Seekers. When Cheda Seekers in present, then Cheda will, uh, it will support the Cheda. And also look at um, Heart base at the moment of river linking. As a human being, we will heart base and also uh, river linking consciousness. So, though heart base and river linking they arise together, connecting, no? Connecting. Why heart base still exists 
it was support to the rebelling and consciousness. But the same, same, same thing, uh, why rebelling and consciousness stay exist, stay in present, then it was support to happiness by way of present condition. Present condition. If, if um, uh, rebelling and consciousness cease or stop, you cannot cannot support by way of present condition. But anyway, rebelling and consciousness, even though it disappears, it will support, it will be a condition for the rising of the first the one by way of absent. If rebelling and consciousness does not disappear, no way for the rising of the first the one, right? So actually, Pattana is like this. We, we study cause and effect. Because of that, that happened. Here also, um, so we have a connecting conditions. It can be analyzed into three groups sometimes, five groups. So when they present, uh, they support each other. They support each other. For example, four great essentials. So, they support each other. So why the first uh, one great essential stay present and it will support the other three like this. By way of present condition. Next one, finessing condition, Purijada Ati. It is the same as number ten. Finessing. Uh, actually we already learned that one. We already learned that one. Finessing Finessing present. So actually, uh, 80, uh, 75 Cheda and 52 Cheda Sika will arise after. So when they present, they were support to the material phenomena that arise earlier than before by way of finessing present. When they are present, when they stay aces, they will support to the material phenomena. By way of pre-nursing present. Number three, post-nursing present. Post-nursing present. So six species, six species, they already exist. Post-nursing. So they will support for the rising of Cheta and Cheta Siga. Uh, seven, uh, seven consciousness element, you know, seven consciousness element. So, why the present, why the, why these six uh, bases uh, stay present? They were support for the rising of Chitta and Chitta Sikha. If they disappear, they cannot support. No, they cannot support. That is called post nascent. Uh, presence. It is the same as 11. The same as 11. Number four, eat by food present. This one is quite clear. If we eat the food, as long as it is exists in our body, it will support for the rising of immaterial phenomena, born of nutriment. It will stay support our body. So, why it is present? It, uh, if there is no more food or nutrient in our body, it will not support. It will not support. So it is the same as 51. 50, number 50, and 1. The next one is the material light present. So as you all know, that material. Uh, materi uh, how to say that? Material life, rupa jivitendriya. So normally it arises together with other nine material phenomena. We call it uh, nine material phenomena. So why material life stay present? It will support, it will help the other material phenomena 
that arise with this. So in this way, material life present. Why it is present? It will support for the. It will support and it will sustain for the thriving of other material phenomena. It is the same as number sixty. 62, you know, 60, number 2. Hmm? Eat the food. Spelling? Spelling not correct? Okay, huh? Eat the food. Mm. Okay, so um, actually, this one not difficult. If you digest previous lessons, um, no need, yeah? Present condition. Um, present condition is included in the group six because in the cause, mind and matter, in the defect, mind and matter. Actually, the last three not difficult. Can I go right now? Okay, right? Okay, we'll go. We're trying to open it today. Because otherwise only three, no, 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 no one. <laughs> Number 22, absent condition. Actually, this is the opposite of present. As I earlier said that, uh, if a passing step down, it will be absence of that passing will be a good thing, you no? Know? Or a bad thing, it can be both, you know? A good passing step down from the office, then it will be bad. If a bad person step down from the office, it will be good. You know? And present and absent. It can be good and bad. So here, absent condition. Nati bacheo. It is a condition where a mental state in ceasing, in ceasing gives the opportunity to another mental state to arise immediately next to his head. Actually, it's very easy. It is identical with the proximity. Proximity. Look at any, uh, how do you say, the mind process. Look at the, uh, uh, how do you say, uh, uh, indoor process. Indoor process. Paspawanga, and Paspawanga sees. Then after that, vibration of Wanga will arise. If Paspawanga does not cease, there's no way for the arising of vibration of Bawanga. Then vibration of Bawanga will, uh, will cease, then after that, uh, arrest Bawanga. After arrest Bawanga, Fido at Vardin. After that, I consciousness. If there's no, if the uh, Fido at Vardin does not disappear, it is still present, there's no way for the arising of I consciousness. So by being absent, uh, actually the absence of mind or advanting, sorry, mind or uh, fight or advanting is uh, a condition for the arising of unconsciousness. So actually if you know uh, proximity, you know, you know everything. No need to learn, huh? It's identical with the proximity and continuity. Continuity. So this is compared to a flame that has seized. So as soon as the flame blown off, darkness prevails. Electricity black off. Darkness will come. You know? So here, the absence of flame serves as a support or condition for the rising of darkness, absence of flame. At the same time, there's no electricity, then we switch on electricity, then the light prevails. So the absence of darkness is a condition for the rising of the light. Just like that, uh, so uh, succeeding or uh, preceding uh, Cheda and Chedasiga is a condition for the arising of succeeding Cheda and Chedasiga. 
So therefore, absent condition is included into group one. My and my, my and my. Number twenty-three. Disappearing condition. Disappearing condition. We cut up the disappearing condition. This is a condition where a mental state by its own disappearance. So disappearance of uh, vital advancing is the condition for the rising of unconsciousness. So for, uh, the disappearance of unconsciousness is a condition for the rising of receiving consciousness, etc. It is identical with the proximity, contiguity, and absent. Actually, they, these four are the same, you know? These four are the same. Proximity, continuity, absent, and disappearance. What do you think? Why we use four different terms? Huh? Because of different people. <laughs> <laughs> Very easy, you know? <laughs> we call it Vinesa uh, Seya. Vinesa Seya. Uh, disposition of people, you know? Some people will understand if we use the word disappearance, you know? Some people will, uh, will understand by using the word proximity, like this. <coughs> this is compared to the disappearance of the sun in the, even in the evening. So the disappearance of the sun give away to the moon, for the rising of the moon at night. If the sun does not disappear, the moon cannot come, you know? In the same European country, the sun do not go down. <laughs> so there's no, no, no way for the rising of the moon, you know? Moon. Disappearing condition, Vikata Pacha, is included in the group one. In six ways, the mind is conditioned for the mind. The last one, non-disappearance, non the opposite of previous one, non-disappearing condition, how we get up by tail. It is identical with the present condition and different only in the latter, only the one. Everything the same, here all the same thing, no? The same thing. Non-disappearing non means it does not stay disappear yet. It does not stay disappear yet. That means it stay exist, stay present. Different times, you know? Different times. So this is compared to the ocean, which serve as a place and domain for the fish and tortoise, etc. Why did it stay exist? It, there's no ocean, there's no place, no domain for the fish and other living beings in the water, in the water. So actually, non disappearing is identical with present condition. Five, five-fold condition, right? Five-fold condition. In nine, non disappearing condition is included into group six. In nine ways, mind and matter is a condition for the mind and matter. Okay, so any question? No question. Okay, finish. <laughs> okay. I think uh, next week we will finish this chapter. This chapter.
จันทามามิมังสารณัตมุเปมิยัตจัติงามมหาปาลามาหุชัจุสุสุสิสุปุริสายุเกสุอาตาชะปุกาลาตามาตาสัตติสังกามิมังสารณัตตามุเปมิสัตุสัตุสัตุเทศนาเกิดวัน